I think when we consider what most people think about schizophrenia, what I'd like to sort of show people is that really it's more than just the psychosis, which we all kind of understand is associated with schizophrenia. But alongside this, one of the most devastating illnesses someone can suffer from are a lot of cognitive problems, problems with learning, memory, and decision making. And for most people, these are the symptoms we can't treat, and they're the ones that make it hard to navigate the normal work and life environment. If we can improve these factors for people with schizophrenia, their lives are much more fulfilling and they'll be able to contribute to society much more. So my name is Dr. James Kesby and I'm a researcher here at the Queensland Brain Institute. And my research focuses on mainly schizophrenia and psychosis and how that affects our decision making. My research is really interested in what happens after the first episode of psychosis. We know that some people can maintain a relatively healthy decision making course across their life, even with a diagnosis of schizophrenia whereas some people face much harder difficulties. And it seems that there's this drop off from that initial episode to a persistent status with the, with the disorder. And I think if we can identify who is gonna have the most trouble post that episode, we can tailor our treatments, be they drugs or social interventions, um, we can hopefully help those people who are gonna suffer the most uh, stay in society and stay healthy and happy.